Some folks are looking for a great location, but aren't really interested in fancy amenities. What they are looking for is a Florida getaway or a year-round home that they can afford with all the things they like to do nearby. Does this interest you? Stay tuned! In this video, we will look at an affordable home in a great location and a nice community. It comes fully furnished and ready for your updates and finishing touches. The area offers nearby beaches, boating, golf, and a really interesting village full of shops, restaurants, and attractions. There are many nearby parks. After we tour the home, we will show you some of the unique features this community offers and discuss the affordable lot rent. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and to educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. If you have any questions or thoughts you want to share while watching this video, please enter them in the comments section below. The park is located on Merritt Island and enjoys easy access to I-95. The city of Melbourne is about 24 miles south. Orlando Airport is about 45 miles west. And for you race fans, Daytona International Speedway is about 70 miles to the north. The Cape Canaveral launching pads are less than 12 miles away, making every space shot a show to watch. It is a little under four miles over the bridge to Cocoa Beach. The area is famous as a surfing center. There are parks and beach access points up and down the coast. To the north, the Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier offers dining and a party scene. To the south, beaches stretch for miles. The beaches are popular, and unlike beaches further south, parking is not free. Surfing is popular here, and no trip is complete without a visit to Ron John's, where you must at least buy a t-shirt. The nearby Rockledge Country Club is open to the public and offers memberships for snowbirds or year-round residents. If I was a golf enthusiast, I would look for a park in the area with a low lot rent and apply the difference to a membership here where I could enjoy a full-service country club with all of the amenities. Also nearby is Kiwanis Park, which offers boat launching facilities, pickleball and tennis, meeting pavilions, playgrounds, picnic areas, and other facilities. You can also catch some local ball here. If medical issues are a concern, Port Canaveral Hospital is only minutes away, providing major medical care if needed. You can also enjoy the festive atmosphere found in historic Cocoa Village. There are waterfront parks, local shops, theater, and the arts. One could spend quite a bit of time hopping between the local pubs and sampling the mini restaurants. There is something here for everyone. This is a wonderful area. Now let's head out to the community. Merritt Island Village is located on the Banana River with access to the intercoastal and the Atlantic Ocean. It is a small community of a little over a hundred lots with a mix of single and double wide homes. The waterfront homes have their own docks. There is a trailer and boat storage area as well as a community dock. Let's jump in the car and see if we can find this place. Google Earth can give you a bird's eye view of the park, but the absolute best way to evaluate it is with a visit. You can stop in the office and chat with the staff to get a feel for how the park is run and accurate data on lot rents and other financial costs, or just write down your questions and call them at your convenience. Take a picture of each home for sale by agents. Ideally, that'll include the address number and contact info for the agent. 
A drive-through will let you see the condition of the homes, the pride residents take in their yards and landscaping, the condition of the roads, and homes for sale. The home we're looking for is just up ahead here. This home is 12 by 56 or 672 square feet. It has two bedrooms and two baths and is fully furnished. I think I'll knock on the door and see if anybody's here. Hey, Hi, Molly. Ron. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Good, so this is the place. Yes, it is. Welcome. Nice. Why don't you introduce yourself for everyone? Hi, my name is Molly Buck, and I work with Four Star Homes in the Space Coast. The porch looks like a nice place to entertain friends or play a game of cards. Are the screens new? Yes. It's a newly screened in with vinyl, new vinyl windows. Let's go inside and take a look around. Nice dining area, dine-in kitchen, eat-in kitchen. It's bright and cheery in here, that's for sure. The kitchen layout seems efficient, and I like the double sinks. Looks like there's lots of cabinet space, too. We have the living room, dining room, kitchen area with the open concept, plenty of natural light. I'm guessing they had a large TV on this counter in between. You could turn that around when you were cooking. Nice sitting area in the living room, and I really like the floor. What's next? We have two bedrooms on either side with a ba bedroom bathroom. Is this the guest room? This is actually the master. Okay. However, I, I like the other room better because it's bigger. I'll tell you why, and this is just my opinion. I don't like the shower. I agree, and it's a small closet more suitable for guests as well. You have the single sink with a little storage below, and as you say, a small shower on the other side. Looks like they started removing some of the wallpaper. That's not hard to fix, though. Okay, let's head down toward the other side of the house and see the other bedroom. I saw a laundry closet in the hallway. Is there a washer and dryer? Um, there was washer and dryer here at one point, but they have removed it. So you could, you know, you hookups are behind that wall right there. Plumbing is still intact. And then over here we have the other bedroom and bathroom. This is the w way bigger. Um, definitely a lot of room for renovation in here. I would make this the master for sure. There's lots more storage with that big closet there. And with two dressers and built-in drawers, I assume that's what these folks did too. Nice size closet. Uh, the furniture is included in this home, so it is fully furnished. Everything you see comes with the home. Let's look at the other bath. Oh yes, this is much larger. I think you could fit a double sink in here. The tub and the shower combination is great for those people who occasionally want to soak. A little storage up on the wall is handy, too. Anything else we should know? Has a, a new metal roof and a brand new HVAC system. Those are the two upgrades in this home. It's a nice size shed. The ramp would be handy for a motorcycle. It even includes a toolbox and a couple of barbecues. Barbecuing is my favorite kind of cooking. Thanks for the tour, Molly. I'm going to go look around the community. I see they have a laundry area. That'll come in handy for those folks who buy that house until they get a chance to have a washer and dryer installed. There's park models here that probably don't have a washer and dryer. There is a small clubhouse, but it appears to be closed at the moment. Adjacent to that is the mail area with a handy picnic table in case you want to open it up and check it out. There is a very large area for storage. With all the ramps nearby, this is a great community if you own a boat. The community dock is a special place. I can sure see myself sitting here every afternoon just throwing a line out there. Looks like folks store their kayaks here and there's even a table for a nice picnic. The view up and down the river is gorgeous. And if you have a friend with a boat, they could pick you up right here. That wraps up the tour of this budget home and affordable 55 plus community. The listed selling price of this home was $30,000. The lot rent listed at $450 monthly. That should be affordable by most. Pets are allowed under 25 pounds with some breed restrictions. 
If you would like to see more communities in this price range, please leave a comment below. If you would like to see more videos on affordable Florida homes, just click on this link. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.